Hi everyone, my name is Kayla Rose and today I'm going to, going to be talking about the pocket predicament. So before I start, I would like to ask everyone to take a second and stand up. Can you all please try, please try to fit your hands in your front pockets? If your whole hand fits in your, if your, if you don't have front pockets or your whole hand does not fit in your front pocket, remain standing. If your whole hand fits in your pocket, please sit down. Notice anything? I don't know. Did you know that women have been suffering from this small pocket predicament? The Pudding.com has conducted a research study on 20 different pairs of both boys and girls' jeans. And on average, girls' pockets are 48% shorter and 6.5% narrower than, than boys' jeans. Does that make any sense to you? Because to me it doesn't. Thank you. <laughs> Guys have the convenience of being able to fit their everyday items in their front pockets, while girls aren't so lucky. The fashion industry has decided that women's jeans should hug their bodies for looks and design, and as a consequence, women are left with little to no pockets, while guys' pants remain durable and convenient for them. I wanted to know why. Why do fashion industries oppress us women like this? I need to know the actual reason behind this no pocket issue. Why do fashion industries today make such differences between girls' and boys' clothing? If you can believe it, we always have pockets, really big pockets. To find all the answers, I started where pockets did in the beginning of the 17th century. Then I moved on to the 1790s, where pockets started to disappear. They made a short comeback in the women's suffrage movement of 1910, but since then our pockets have been getting smaller and smaller, until today where pockets for us girls are basically non-existent. In the 17th century renaissance, men have pockets, women have pockets, everyone have pockets, but not the pockets you're probably thinking. According to the Victorian Albert Museum, the average 17th century woman wore a petticoat, two layers of undergarments. Her pocket would be tied around her waist in between, women, in, two, in between two petticoats. Women essentially had to get undressed to access the contents of their pockets. Women had a choice, get undressed to get to their pockets or carry small decorative bags called reticules. And so pockets started to go. At the turn of the century, fashion or function became the rationale. Having a small silhouette was prioritized instead. The purse industries love our lack of pockets. They make a profit off of us. If women had big, voluptuous pockets, we wouldn't need their purses. Camila Olson, a creative director of a high-tech fashion forum, points to inherent sexism within, a, with inherent sexism within an industry. Mid-range mid fashion is a male-dominated business, driven not by form and function, but by design and how fabric best strips the body. So there are a couple reasons why women don't have pockets, but are any of them actually valid? Women have, com have been complaining about the inadequacy of their pockets for over a century. On average, guys can fit at least their keys, phones, and wallet, if not more, into their pockets. On the other hand, less than half of a woman's front pocket can fit specific of a pocket can fit a wallet specifically designed to fit in front pockets, and you can't even cram an average woman's hand beyond the knuckles into the majority of their pockets. A lot of men do not realize that how much of an advantage they are at. Thus, you can just see the design flaws and discrepancy in women's clothing. These are images of size differences in men and women's pockets, including brands like Abercrombie, Lee, Ralph, and Gap Lauren. The blue lines, the blue darker lines are the average sizes, and the lighter blue lines are all of the jeans they tested. These images show how different things fit in both men and women's pockets. The top image shows wallets and the bottom shows phones, and the numbers are astounding. A man can simply swipe up his keys and iPhone on the way to rendezvous with coworkers and slide them into his pocket. A woman on the way to the same meeting has to either carry those items in her hand or bring a whole purse with her, a definitive sign she is a woman. Because of our lack of pockets, the handbag industry was born. Instead of adding a personal pocket in our jeans, they profit off of our need for storage. There are many reasons why women don't have pockets, but none of them make much sense. We are so advanced in technology and science, yet fashion industries can't handle women's jean pockets. As for now, we will remain pocketless and at a disadvantage, but soon, hopefully, with new minds in the world, new minds in the world, we will be able to change that.